Starship Show. Shorts! Hey now, York here from the Ship Show, bringing you a segment we call Ship Show Shorts. We all love watching anything cruise related on YouTube, but today I'm going to talk about 10 movies starring real ships. Action! Charlie suggested a little vacation. We get on that ship and sip champagne with some lonely rich broads. But he forgot. Our first movie stars those grumpy old men, Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. It was filmed on a ship formerly known as Holland America's Westerdam and now sails as the Maria Dream. The premise is that these two distinguished gentlemen go on a cruise to let loose, sow their oats. However, unbeknownst to Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau has signed them up as dance instructors in order to pay for the cruise. You know, it's not a terrible movie in my opinion, and it's actually filled with some pretty funny one-liners, courtesy of this famous odd couple. I gotta give this film three bagucks out of four. Speed two, cruise control. How do you like your vacation so far? Man, I just bought a condo here. <laughs> oh boy, Speed 2. Uh, that's the funniest clip of the whole movie. It, it, what can I say? It, I enjoyed Speed 1. Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock. Keanu Reeves made a very wise career decision, in my opinion, to not return for this sequel. It, it's not a good film. It, really, the only redeeming quality it has almost... The entire film was shot on board a cruise ship, and that being the Seaborn Star Legend, which actually sails nowadays under the Windstar Company. So, oh man, one bagak out of four. Vacations are all about fun. So with my tail back and forth, so with my tail back and forth, so with my tail back and forth. Not too much fun. Goodbye, Dave. And hello, ladies. That's right. Our next film is Elvin and the Chipmunks 3. Chipwrecked, starring the Carnival Dream. The movie starts with the Chipmunks and Dave heading out on a family vacation, and in typical Alvin and the Chipmunks fashion, Alvin gets in trouble in the casino of all places, ends up overboard, and shenanigans ensue. Uh, it's a fun movie for the kids. Um, not too shabby seeing the Carnival Dream in, in most of the shots, so uh, I give it two bagaks out of four. Daddy, you know how to jump rope? We were the double Dutch king. So I'm a big fan of Adam Sandler movies, mostly his earlier stuff like Waterboy, Happy Gilmore, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Billy Madison. Uh, if you like Sandler movies, you'll get a kick out of it. Uh, essentially, he plays a guy with a twin sister that visits for Thanksgiving, and yes, he plays both characters. Uh, what I like about the movie is that tons of stars make appearances, uh, stars, actors, comedians, Katie Holmes, Al Pacino, uh, Norm MacDonald, David Spade, Dana Carvey, Tim Meadows, Shaq, uh, John McEnroe, uh, and Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. Uh, now, while the majority of the film isn't doesn't take place on board Allure, uh, there are some several funny scenes that do take place aboard the ship. So check out Jack and Jill. Uh, three bagaks out of four, just for my boy Adam. <laughs> I want to come back into their lives. Where were you when he needed support? Table for Five was released in 1983 and stars John Voight, who's an absentee, divorced father, looking to reconnect with his children aboard a cruise ship. It's a drama. It's slow. Um, but John Voight's a great actor. And the movie was filmed on Kennard's Vistage Fjord. Vistage, Vistage Fjord. Try saying that many times fast. Any, anyway, the ship holds a special place in my heart because it's the first cruise ship I ever sailed. So unfortunately now it's in a Bangladeshi scrapyard, but still great for preserving memories for me. So this is kind of a personal pick. Two out of four bagaks. The newest movie on this list, Like Father, is a Netflix original filmed aboard the Harmony of the Seas. Kristen Bell stars as a young woman left at the altar on her wedding day. Then her estranged father, Kelsey Grammer, shows up to attend the wedding. They end up going out, getting drunk, and they go on Kristen's honeymoon together. On board Harmony of the Seas. I like this movie. Seth Rogen's in it as well. Lots of good ship footage. They even go on excursions like ziplining and visit waterfalls. Kind of like a true cruise experience. 
three out of four Bagux. It's on Netflix right now. Go check it out. We're going on a cruise, Jerry. Hot, beautiful women. But it wasn't until they got on the wrong love boat. It's a gay cruise, Jerry, not a bi cruise. It's a gay cruise. 2003's boat trip starring Horatio Sand and Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, man. It, it was filmed on an actual ship based out in Greece, and I can't for the life of me find out which actual specific ship or brand uh, was involved. Uh, they probably don't want you to know, um, because before you go and do any research on your own to try and figure that out or even uh, attempt to watch the film, I'll, I'll just save you some time. It's it's awful. Like, really, truly, very, very, very bad, and not to mention really homophobic. Um, and to think Cuba Gooding Jr. followed up his Oscar-winning role in Jerry Maguire with this, uh, it's amazing it made it to the screen. So, uh, geez, zero bagaks. Oh yes, it's a Friday the 13th movie, number eight to be exact, Jason Takes Manhattan. A group of graduating seniors set sail on the fictional SS Lazarus ship bound for Manhattan. And of course, Jason's got to come back alive and he's got to take them out. What's crazy to me is that the film is called Jason Takes Manhattan, but most of the film is shot on a ship. And which ship? Who knows? Uh, but very little of the slasher flick actually shows Manhattan. And what can you say? It's a, it's a Friday the 13th movie. It's still better than Boat Trip. Much better, in fact. Two bagaks out of four. I'm the king of the world! Woo I'm sure you knew this was coming. And 1997's Titanic shouldn't be a big surprise to anybody. Uh, you know, even though it wasn't shot on an actual sailing ship, uh, a lot of it was done on green screen, but also, you know, a full replica was built for filming. Four bagaks, duh. Anywhere. Hey. Damn you, man! Give me 600 bucks! Keep going! As you wish. That clip was from one of my all-time favorite comedies, Overboard. The original from 1987, not the terrible remake from 2018. Um, and while it's not filmed on a cruise ship, many scenes do take place aboard a luxury yacht. And really the pre premise is when bratty, rich yacht owner lady uh, Goldie Hawn falls overboard. She has a case of amnesia, and she's led to believe that she is the wife to poor handyman Kurt Russell and his three boys. What's my full name? Oh, come on. Man. What is it? What? Mrs. Annie Prophet. What's my maiden name? Annie Goolahy. Annie Goolahy? It's, it's really a hilariously funny family movie, and you haven't seen it before. I think you'll enjoy it. Check it out. I give this film four very funny bagaks. Well, there you have it, folks. Ten movies starring ships. Some bad, some great, whatever floats your boat. Thanks so much for watching. You can join us every Sunday on The Ship Show via the Klaikowski's YouTube channel. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Have a good one. Peace. The Ship Show. Shorts!